أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام م تلك آيات الكتاب الحكيم هدى ورحمة للمحسنين الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم وهم بالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون ومن الناس من يشتري لهو الحديث ليضل عن سبيل الله ليضل عن سبيل الله بغير علم ويتخذها هزوا أولئك لهم عذاب مهين وإذا تتلى عليه آياتنا ولا مستكبرا كأن لم يسمعها كأن في أذنيه وقرا فبشره بعذاب أليم صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Luqman Today we are beginning Surah Luqman The ayah number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till 7 In the beginning there is Alif Lam Mim these letters are a single ayah in this surah and we have seen these letters in Surah Baqarah and actually you may see them in the beginning of some surah, surahs they appear in some surahs and actually we do not know what does they mean? What do they mean in reality? There are some comments and interpretations about these letters. But Allah Alam, Allah knows the best what these letters mean in the beginning of the surahs. Alif Lam Mim. Here is three letter and it's one ayah but when we read the second ayah the ayah begins tilka that is so there is nothing before this ayah but the ayah number one so there should be a strong relation between this between the ayah number two and between the ayah number one. Tilka ayatul kitab. That is the ayat, the signs, the verses of the book. So when you ask what is this, the answer is that is the signs or the verses of the book. Tilka ayatul kitab. So Allah knows the best, but it, there can be a relation between these letters and the ayah uh, number two, which refers to the book and its ayat. And if you look at these letters which appear in the beginning of the surahs, you will notice the same reality or the same thing in them. For example, in Surah Baqarah, Allah Azza wa Jal said, Alif Lam Mim, Thalika Al Kitabu La Rayba Fih. Alif Lam Mim, that is the book, which is there is no contradiction or no falsehood in it. And there was the same meaning, Tilka Ayatul Kitab, that is the ayat, the verses of the book. Because of this uh, reality, <coughs> some scholars said that Allah Azza wa wants to say 
the verses of Allah, the ayat of Quran, contains these letters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the ayat from these letters. And the letters are simple. You can see them, alif, lam, mim, or kaf, ha, ya, ayn, sin, qaf, kaf, ha, ya, ayn, sad, or ayn, sin, qaf, or, the, or other ayat, or alif, lam, ra, or hamim. These scholars think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenges the people and says, made the same, use the same letters and produce a Qur'an like this Qur'an. If you claim that it's not from the Almighty God and if you claim that this is such a book and it's easy to make and it's simple, then produce a Quran or produce a surah like the surahs of Quran. Tilka ayatul kitab al hakim. This was a, a, commentation, a comment about uh, these letters which appears appear in the beginning of surahs. In the ayah number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tilka ayatul kitab. That is the ayat of the book. Ayah means sign. Ayat means signs. When you look at it, it shows you something. It refers to something. It brings to you a meaning. It represents something. Ayah means sign. And the ayat of Qur'an, the verses of Qur'an, named ayah or ayat because they represent the Creator. These are the kalam, the speech of the Creator, Almighty God. And when you look at the ayah or the ayat of Qur'an, after a while, they will lead you to the Creator and they will show you that this Qur'an sent down by Almighty God. Tilka ayatul kitab. Ayatul kitab, al-kitab means the book, the ayat of the book, verses of the book. Al-Hakim, uh, this is uh, the, this refers to the book Al-Hakim means the wise Al-Kitab Al-Hakim So Quran is a, a wise book Whatever in it Whatever it says All contains this wise The wise of Quran And it depends the author of the Quran Who is Almighty God Tilka ayatul kitab al-hakim And the same thing mentioned in the beginning of surah Surah Yasin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Yasin wal Quran al-hakim Al-Quran is hakim is full of wisdom Whatever Quran says to you it's wisdom it's purely wisdom You should understand it you should realize it and the, uh, you should pay your attention to it and you should believe that you are created capable to understand it Allah is the one who created you and he is the one who sent down this speech this revelation to you so you are capable to understand it and you are capable to understand and distinguish the difference between the speech of a human being or your creator. So come and look at Quran. You will understand that the, the, this is the speech and the revelation of your creator. 
because why why you will understand because of this main reason Quran is full of wisdom there is no contradiction in it you cannot find falsehood in it do they not make research about Quran about its ayat do they not reflect upon the ayat of Quran and if it was from one other than other than Almighty God indeed they would find many many contradictions in it not one many if it was from other than Almighty God but now they cannot find any single contradiction so this is the challenge of Quran this is the claim of Quran and actually Quran starts with this challenge in the beginning of Quran in Surah Baqarah you can see the same meaning Alif Lam Mim Thalika Al Kitabu La Rayba Fi this is the book there is no doubt no contradiction no falsehood in it so this challenge provoke the interlocutor to make research about it and Quran has no fear about this issue instead Quran invites the people to make this research but sincerely without any prejudice and with open mind make the research about Quran listen to it and make your choice make your decision so Quran the, we are now reading the ayat of Surah Luqman and we are reading the ayat of Quran the book of wisdom Tilka ayatul kitab al hakim you can take any rule from Quran and think about that rule you will find that that rule is the best for humanity that rule is the best for our